Tony Dungy is in our studio. <laughs> yeah, we Who, he just that. wandered in off the street. Who knew? And I was definitely coming here if I went any place in Denver. Oh, we're going to tell Ron here. Mackey. We're oh, just going to rub it in. Yeah. Well, That's of true. course, we know you as a former Colts coach, but you're a motivational speaker. You're a writer. You do a lot of things. And we have to ask you, first and foremost, everything that we've all been talking about, and really all the national news, this whole discussion about what Jim Irsay said regarding Peyton Manning. I really do have to believe it was taken out of context. I know Jim Irsay well. I worked for him for seven years. I loved working for him. He loves Peyton Manning. Uh, so I'm not sure where all this came from or what the context is, but I, I can promise you it wasn't meant to disparage Peyton. It just came out the wrong just way. Just came out the wrong way. Does I this something that rattles him or just puts more fire in his belly? Well, I don't think he needs any more fire. <laughs> uh, going back to a place, <laughs> yeah. first of all, they want to get to 7 0. That's the number one thing in his yeah. mind. When you go back to a place where you played for 14 years, you want to play well. Uh, when I had Peyton in Indy, I remember we went back to New Orleans for the first time, and I was worried we're going yes. to his hometown. How's he going to do? Is he going to be too amped up? Is he going to be worried about seeing everybody? Through six touchdowns in the first three quarters, so he, he was ready to go, and he's going to want to have that kind of performance again. Well, he's certainly the guy in the NFL right now. And, you know, Tony, we know a little bit about great football minds and cerebral quarterbacks here in Denver. John Elway was, you know, much the same yeah. Person, but Peyton Manning seems to be a very unique animal. He's one of these guys who just knows every phase of the game and seems to be in complete command of every phase of the game. He is. I can't tell you the number of Tuesday nights when I'd get a text from him, hey, we, we ran this five years ago against these guys. We ought to look at this or try this or what about this? And he, he's always into things. Um, the very first conversation I ever had with him, he was a senior in college and I was a, a pro coach at Tampa. We were at a banquet together. Six years later, I become his head coach. He recounted everything, the hotel we stayed at, what uh. night of the week it was, what we talked about. And, and when he did that, I said, no, I, I know I've got something special here. Yeah, they talk about his laser focus and his ability to just, you know, tune everything out, but also just always take the high road. Be that real leader that we that we always hope. Yeah. In fact, I look at this book right in front of us, Uncommon, that what you talk about, what you'd like every teenager out there to think about living their life like. Absolutely. Peyton is just a, a class individual. He understands that it's not just going to work, but it's giving back to your community, not just making it a great, Denver a great place to be from noon to three o'clock on game day, but also the rest of the time. And, and that is being uncommon. And we talked about that a lot when I was when, with Indianapolis. Uh, we want to be special on and off the field. And he was definitely the leader in that regard. Are they the best team in football right now, do you think? You know, I'm not so sure they are right now. Even though they're undefeated and they're putting up a lot of points, they, they've got a couple of links that they need to get worked out. They have some injuries on the offensive line. They really miss Vaughn Miller. But with Champ Bailey coming back last week, getting Vaughn Miller back, I think in two or three weeks they could be uh, far and away the best team. So we'll, we'll see what happens in these next couple of weeks. How about Those Chiefs? Chiefs? Yeah, yeah. Chiefs are, really, you know, every, every week Kevin and I go, oh my gosh, <laughs> they did it again. They're, they're step yeah. for step with us. See, I coached in Kansas City for three years. The people have just been waiting for this to happen, yeah. this kind of revitalization. Uh, it's an awesome, it, it's like Denver. It's an awesome community for football. They're playing with a great formula. They've got a good running game, great defense, home crowd, home field advantage. Um, they're, they're for real. They're for real. Great team. So who is the best team in football, if, you, if not the, the Broncos? You know, who do you the Broncos think? are close. Seattle is a very, very good yeah. football team. San Francisco went through some early downs, but they're starting to get some of their guys off injured reserve. Um, they're they're going to be pretty strong. It, it, it's a, an interesting year. I don't think you can ever tell until December, really. Um, that Everybody's kind of feeling their way, but you've got to be healthy. The Broncos are healthy in December. They'll be right there. Do you like your role in television right now, Tony? Do you like where you are? I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. Uh, NBC gives me uh, an opportunity to use the platform. We can do features on players, on foundations they have, things they're doing off the field. Uh, people recognize me, and I get a chance to go places and talk about what's, what's on my heart and talk to young people about doing the right things, making good decisions. So uh, television has given me a great platform. 